Hello, this is Bohdan Dozhne and today you will learn how to install Chatbot Builders AI WebChat plugin on ClickFunnels. So ClickFunnels have small platform specifics. So let me show you uh, how original code from Chatbot Builder AI looks like. So when we go settings, chan channels and then WebChat manage and you will have a couple of your WebChats you created. So select which one you want and get code that's it the code is copied and that code looks exactly like this a simple script all right so you basically you need to paste it somewhere and it will work for example as i did on my very simple google blog for testing so when you will paste it here it looks like this but if you want to get additional stuff like show up with a text after certain seconds, you have to, of course, make some modifications. Let's discuss this. Let's discuss about this shortly. Now let's go back uh, to the click funnels. So when you got a chatbot builders AI web chat widget code, you have to paste it somewhere on click funnels. And the only right solutions for this is to place into custom JavaScript and html block okay so when you will create this custom javascript html block it will open like this and you can paste your uh, custom javascript html basically code so uh and here i got the problem with click funnels i tried different ways so you can um, if you when you will go to chatbot builders ai uh, documentation and just type web chat you will find entire explanation about how you can use your uh, web chat so you will see that there is different way of pasting uh, your web chat as a script or as a iframe what is the iframe so the iframe is a html element that loads another web page inside of web page basically uh, this is what we see when we visit any website any website and there is some type of the ads or banner this is exactly iframe so the iframe is not perfect solution for our web chats unless you won't always see your web chat uh, on specific place on the website but usually we want to have plugin which is looks like this a bubble so you click on this and web chat pops okay so now the issues with click funnels i got is uh that i s uh, i got confused what's going on because I installed the simple script which is like this at first time and it was we tried to install into the body section as a, you know some Facebook pixel script or something like that and we saw nothing on the web chat on the website I'm sorry and then I thought that simple script from chatbot builder AI like this on click funnels it doesn't work so then I tried the iframe the iframe this is uh this screenshot basically it looks like it's iframe test which we try to install in custom java html uh, area and then i got confused why why we see this you don't have enough permissions which is not, not the error because you have to add to your web chat settings uh, your domain and so on and everything will work but i got confused why alongside with this iframe on the, on the lower HTML section, which is here, you see it's, it's custom JavaScript HTML, which is below on the landing page. Now, why do we see, like iframe clearly almost work, but why do we see this web chat here as well? So this is gives me a lot of confusions and I spent a lot of days and hours to test it. And what I find out that after you update any script on ClickFunnels, for example, you're pasting new custom JavaScript HTML, it takes 10 minutes uh, until it will, sh it will show up live on your ClickFunnels page like this. That's it. So basically, everything is works. Just pay attention. You need to wait 10 minutes until you expect changes on ClickFunnels. I don't know why it's like that. It works this way for one of my clients so i'm sharing my knowledge with you if you stuck again with click final same as me just give 10 minutes until we'll uh until code will be updated on the website now basically about click funnels that's it let me uh, let me show you uh, the way 
how I created uh, the web chat widget with this text hey if you have any questions please ask ask them here let me let me try to zoom out so now you see a widget okay and with a text hey if you have any questions please ask them here we are online now okay now originally when you got from chatbot builder code it looks like this a simple script now you you need to get some from somewhere additional pieces of the code and instruction uh, with instructions how to how to do this so i so how to modify your web chat uh, code i go simple way i use uh, a cloud with model 3.5 sonnet and what i ask i just say this mm. Here is the code of our WebChat plugin script. Okay, hold on. Here is the here is the code of our WebChat plugin. What we need is for you to add text bubble above the WebChat button. The text X and blah blah blah. I give the text. And other instructions. The text should be quite narrow and mobile, responsive. At uh, most users are on mobile. Border radius for the text bubble is sixteen pixels and delay for the text display is five seconds so i got cop i got and then i got answer from cloud with a code and then i give another instruction i ask please change background for the text bubble to white add a space between chat button and the text bubble and basically that's it and this is the result we got let me show you how it, how it, how it works so i just refresh my testing page web chat uh, pop-ups and after a couple of seconds voila you have the text so this is the way how you can completely without knowledge the code without completely any development web development skills you can get modified web chat widget and install on your website or link funnels or wherever and this is complete prompt which i just uh, show you from the cloud so this is the text Okay, the prompt, and this is the result what I got from Cloud Style, blah 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 blah, and when 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 you, and then on backend, and then basically just paste this on a backend of your uh, website, based basically using some specific uh, HTML, like on ClickFunnels, you can you can use custom JavaScript HTML block. Or you just go manually to your code and modify it and you install this and the result as a result it you will, you will get this beautiful web chat that's it follow me to learn more